still learning here. It is Friday night. Um, I am going to uh, show just a, a few clips here and there from t yesterday and today. Nothing major, just stuff that I was cooking or whatever. Uh, so I really wasn't in much of a mood for recording anything, so that's why it's just kind of all over the place. It's not, <laughs> it might not even make any sense. Um, I will show, I don't have my tripod up, I'm just <laughs> showing. So here's the wrap that I'm working on. Got a little bit further. And I'm also working on a, like a, a scarf, I guess, a triangular scarf, because it's not going to be big enough, I don't think, to be a shawl or a shawlette, baby. Um, that's going on upstairs. It is getting ready to storm, which means my dad's probably going to be down here pretty soon, uh, rug doctoring the basement because it's probably going to flood tonight, which means... Whatever I've got on the floor, I need to get up off, off, off the floor, including my little plugs and stuff. Um, so anyway, just a few clips from yesterday and today, and that's it. And I'm probably not going to record for the weekend as normal, and I hope everyone has a great weekend. You stay safe, and I will see you Monday for Meaty Monday. If you could give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, I would really appreciate that. Have a great night. Good night. Fixing some breakfast right now. Uh, I got the big waffle iron out this morning. Uh, so that along with, well, there's the, the waffle iron. Some bacon, gonna fix some eggs. And then I'm probably going to put uh, the sugar-free peach preserves on a couple of the chaffles anyway. So that is what's going on for breakfast. I was going to make some, uh, cook some chicken wings today, but I think I'm going to hold off on that because it looks like I'm going to be battling uh, basement flooding today and I don't want to be up here doing a bunch of cooking and then having a big mess to clean up. So after this and I get this cleaned up, i got to go downstairs and see if there's water. Uh, it's been raining, I guess, probably most of the night. It's supposed to rain for a couple days. Which means we're going to be doing a lot of rug doctoring downstairs, trying to keep the water out of my room. Haven't seen any water yet. Hopefully it doesn't rain hard enough, but if it does rain hard, that means it's going to be water. So I will check back in later. So here's breakfast. I'll admit that I already had two of these chaffles. I, I made four. Uh, decided against having eggs because <laughs> this is probably more than enough because I'm actually starting to get full now. So uh, this is it for breakfast. I'm going to put that on that. That's uh, the uh, sugar-free peach preserves. So there's breakfast. Here is my dinner. Uh, the Portofino yellowfin tuna with avocado, some shredded cheese, and lemon juice, and my coffee drink. Uh, it's it's kind of a Dalgona coffee, but without the froth, because for some reason I can't get it to froth up when I put cocoa in it. So, anyway, it's still good. And I put hazelnut, uh, Toronto's hazelnut sugar-free in there. So, that's dinner. Okay, so I'm not doing a whole lot of cooking today, but I am doing, uh, I am going to cook the rest of the burger patties, which there are six of them in total... Unfortunately, I only had uh, two and a half slices of bacon left, so that's what's going to be for breakfast. I am going to fix some eggs, too, and I'm getting ready to make some truffles. So there's my <laughs> not-so-whipped whipped coffee. Uh, like I had said before, every time I put cocoa in it, uh, it just deflates, so I just mix it all together anyway because I really wanted the cocoa in there. So, that is what is going on right now. My dad always sets my cup out for me. <laughs> so, getting ready to do some truffles now. And I suppose that is it. I will show you my breakfast when I am done. Here is the uh, traditional egg and cheese truffle. 
I just put some shredded cheese down there. And then the egg. And then adding some more cheese to the top of it. However much you want. And you can use any kind of cheese you want. I usually like to use the Chihuahua cheese from Costco. But I'm out of it and I'm not going to Costco and I don't have the funds to. So, And then close it. And my uh, chuffle maker thing doesn't really close all the way like it's supposed to. So I cook it for about a minute longer. I do mine for four minutes. So, got breakfast going. Almost done. Got some chaffles going. I'm on the fourth one. Also going to do, the uh, the ones I'm doing right now are just the uh, egg and cheese chaffles. And I'm also going to do at least one or two batches of the pecan flour white bread chaffles. Get out of the way, dog. <laughs> Waiting for me to drop something. Well, she had a had a nice surprise the other day. <laughs> she was sitting there on the floor waiting for me to drop just a parcel, uh, just a morsel of the pork rinds. <laughs> the whole bag slipped out of my hand. <laughs> Didn't it? Boy, you like that. So this item I made for a lady in Tennessee uh, last year. It came up in my Facebook memories. So I thought I would share it. It's a blanket and a pillow. And this is for her daughter that she just recently adopted. And her daughter loves owls, as do I. And so I really liked this project a lot. Thought it turned out really good. Here's my breakfast. Just simple bacon and eggs and two truffles. Bonus burger. I thought there was only six left, but there was seven. Yay! For dinner, I ended up having the uh, ground beef and broccoli cream cheese dish that I made last week. And that's supposed to be a picture of the ground beef broccoli in that pan. 